Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Hello. My name is Bridget Brown Jackson. I am a behavioral wealth specialist and I am the founder of let me move this for a minute so you see me. I am the founder of Exponential Edge Adventures. We'll be coming in every day uh, for the month of February and talking about leaders, leaders who have impacted our lives. We're in day three, and today we're going to be talking about James Fortin, and we're going to be talking about his inspiration and what he did for us. If you are ready, we're about to go ahead and go on into it today. All right, so we're going to be talking about, again, James Fortin. He was born in uh, 1766. He died in 1842. Um, he was just an amazing and incredible leader. So if you have not ever heard of him, research him and look it out. Um, again, as I said, we're going to be doing uh, legends. We're going to be talking about leadership legends for the month of February. And we're talking about those that are from the African-American descent. And the reason why we're doing that is because one, we need to understand the contributions that African-Americans have played in a role in building America, right? But there are so many powerful leadership lessons that we can learn from them. And so today we again are doing uh, James Fortin. Uh, he was born in 1766 and, and born free, mind you, and uh, died in 1842. So let's get into what he was doing. These are very, very short um, segments that we're doing. And we're again coming in here to enlighten you and then moving on uh, so you can go about your day. So we say thank you for having breakfast with us this morning. This is live. Uh, you know, a lot of times I do lunch and learns uh, for the month of February. I'm doing breakfast bits. OK, so come on in every day at uh, 9 a.m. and join us Easter Standard Time. So James Fortune, uh, he emerged not only as a wealthy African-American, but a sales maker, mind you, but he was absolute, a, an incredible abolitionist. And so what he was able to do is use his strategic leadership to help other people. Come on. Now, if that's not a leadership lesson, I don't know what is. If that's not a leadership lesson, again, I don't know what is that leadership lesson. So uh, James Fortin, his success uh, as a salesmaker, and 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 this is what's so crazy about it. His uh, boss uh, retired, and so he worked in the selling industry. Um, his father worked in the selling industry, right? And in 1798, uh, his boss retired, and so he bought the business. Now, mind you, think about this. We're talking about the 1700s. We're talking about an African-American in the 1700s, and he's able to purchase this business. So he purchases the business. And by 1810, he's successful. He's so successful that literally he is the most successful in Philadelphia, black or white. Now that's major. Again, we're talking about 1810. We know what was going on. And here's what I love about him. His philanthropic uh, endeavors was able to help fund anti-slavery efforts. And so when he went into business, it wasn't just about himself. And so, you know, one of the things that I've been doing on this series is talking about leadership, but talking about leadership in the context of emotional intelligence. We cannot be considered emotion. We cannot be considered successful if we don't show some emotional intelligence too as well. I talk about it all the time. Matter of fact, let me put it back up here for y'all because I had took it all, but let me put it up there. Y'all see that? It says Bridge Brown Jackson. It is. I have an ed specialist degree. In other words, I have three degrees. But that doesn't mean anything if my work, if my work does not produce as a servant leader. And so James Fortin was the servant leader of servant leaders. He was the servant leader of servant leaders. And so let's get up this and again back this up and talk about what he did. So because of his leadership, he had a keen awareness. So as leaders, we have to be aware. He was very aware. He was aware of how his strategic resources could help other people. So he had empathy for other people. And because he had empathy about other people's plight, because again, he was born free. He was not enslaved. And because of that, he had empathy in action. So his self-awareness was evident 
and recognizing the societal responsibility that he had. He didn't think about just me, myself, and I. He used his financial resources, his financial success to help other people. So let me end this by telling you. So today, what can we learn from him? Today, we can reflect on our contributions. And we might want to draw on the inspiration from James Fortin. Again, born in 1866, an, an amazing time to have some amazing uh, resources to be able to utilize them with empathy. So he was a champion of making sure that he pushed for equality. What is your leadership doing for you today? How were you aware and how were you leveraging it to be a servant leader to help other people? Again, I hope this helped you. I hope this blessed you. and. Um, Make sure you join us every day. We're going to be going through some amazing, amazing notables and some unnotable. And so if you find somebody that you don't know about, find out about their leadership. How can you learn and glean from their leadership? Again, my name is Bridget Brown Jackson. Uh, I'm going to put it up there so you can see I'm Bridget Brown Jackson. I am a behavioral wealth strategist. I love talking behavior and especially how your behavior can create wealth for you and others. So I'll see you tomorrow, same time, 9 a.m. right here. God bless you.